Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing some shelf styling ideas as well as some little tips and tricks to help you style your shelves along the way. So let's jump right in. Also, this video is in collaboration with my sister, Lorraine. We have so much fun together collaborating on projects and working together. And this was a really fun project that we got to do. So, of course, we had to stop by Home Goods and pick up a few items that we needed for the shelf styling. But it's really, really easy to get distracted and overwhelmed in a place like Home Goods. I always get distracted in there, so I think it's always best to start out with a list. And these are just some basic tips that work for me. Number one, make a plan. Number two, how many shelves or compartments do you have? Um, number three, mapping out or visualizing your shelves, drawing them out if that helps. Number four, going through what you have and what you will need. This is kind of a fun one because you can incorporate things that you have at home or things that you want to share um, in your home. And number five, writing it all down on a piece of paper or in your phone so that you have what you will need on a list. We did find a lot of unique pieces at Home Goods. However, we did have some things at home that were purchased off of Amazon. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the links in the description box below and I will link as much as I can for you there. And any shopping trip is not complete without a quick trip to Target. So we checked out the Hearth and Hand line and the Dollar Spot is always a super fun place to visit. We did find this cute little vase and it was only three bucks. So you can't really pass that up. So these are the shelves that we are working with. This is the casement hutch from Crate and Barrel. And to start off the styling of this shelf, we are layering books and trying books in different areas and starting with the larger items. So when styling a shelf, it is a little bit of an illusion where you want your eyes to keep moving throughout the shelf. So you don't wanna place similar items next to each other or anything that's gonna compete with each other um, all in the same area. So I will break it down and kind of show you. So these two items are very similar in color and similar in texture even. These two items right next to each other don't give enough flow throughout the shelf. So these you would want to be moved one on one end and one on the very farther end just so that they're not competing with each other. So here's another quick example. This frame and this vase are also very similar in color and in size. So these actually compete with each other when you place them one on top of the other. They're better, a little bit distant and separate. So here's a quick little visual that I drew out. If you can see the two darker woods are very distant from each other, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then the Lighter colored things kind of make a zigzag style going right throughout the middle and then the smaller lighter pieces are just kind of nestled in there but they're still not competing with each other. This was a really fun project for the living room because it needed that character and that life brought into the room and everything tied in really well with all the rest of the decor. So I was really excited with how this turned out. And moving on to the dining room, this is the same style hutch. It's the caseman in black from Crate and Barrel. And the shelves are arranged a little bit different so that uh, it can accommodate larger items right in the middle. So because this is the dining room, we put some stemware in here and these books were uh, stacked on top of each other to give this little gold colander a little bit of height. And it just so happened that the font on the books was gold also. So it kind of all tied in together and looked really cute. So mapping out the middle shelf on the left there is a vintage utensil holder and it was the perfect uh, place for all the old 
utensils and egg beaters, rolling pins, and all of that fun vintage style. And to the right there, we have some cutting boards that are layered. There are two, uh, one right behind the other. And then to soften up all the wood tones, we added this cute little vase from the dollar spot at Target and threw in some faux um, olive greenery and it really softened that space and fit in perfectly. I think out of all the shelves that we styled, this one was by far my favorite shelf. And for the very top shelf in the left hand, corner we have the stemware and the champagne flutes there and then on the right we have again the stacked books in like colors and then the bowls with a little bit of gold on them just to tie into the previous gold we had put on the shelf and those are stacked up. Styling these shelves was a really fun project that my sister and I got to do together and shopping and the whole day is just a really fun thing and it's really fun when we can collaborate on projects and kick ideas back and forth and just have a lot of fun throughout the day. So I hope this video helped you in any way, maybe gave you some ideas for styling your shelf. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because we have a ton more videos coming your way. I just want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and leaving so many comments on our previous videos. I'm so appreciative and every little bit helps this channel. So I hope that you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.